April 7, St. Herman Joseph. St. Herman was a great devotee of Our Lady and one of the most popular medieval contemplatives. He was born in Cologne, Germany in 1150 into a family of good name that had lost its wealth. From his early childhood, he sought out the altar of the Holy Virgin to converse with her. His simplicity was charming. On one occasion, he brought an apple to the Mother of God and asked her to accept it. The statue of the Virgin moved, and she extended her hand to take the gift. Another time, he arrived at church and saw the Queen of Heaven in great splendor in the choir. At her side were two children, St. John the Baptist and the Christ Child, playing together. As Herman stood contemplating the scene, the Virgin called to him. He swiftly climbed the steps, but the gate to the choir was closed and locked. I cannot reach you, he said to Mary. The gate is locked, and there is no ladder for me to climb over. The Holy Virgin then directed him to where to put his hands and feet in order to climb over the gate. Doing this, he entered the choir, and she told him to join the Christ child and St. John in play. One cold winter day, he came barefoot to the church to pray. As he approached the statue, Our Lady asked him, Why are you barefoot on this cold day? He answered, Because I don't have shoes. She told him to look under a certain stone in the church where he would find enough money for a pair of shoes. The whole life of St. Herman was filled with visions and ecstasies. Until his last day, he enjoyed a continuous familiarity with the supernatural. At age 12, he joined the Premonstratensians of Steinfeld, where he was assigned many different jobs. Later, he was ordained a priest and became the director of several convents of sisters, for whom he wrote various treatises on piety and a commentary on the Canticle of Canticles. He also composed hymns, one being the first hymn in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. His life was one continuous penance, and he suffered strong temptations and physical illnesses. He was afflicted by incessant headaches that only ceased when he approached the altar to celebrate Mass. Their violence used to increase with each approaching feast day. In a play on words, he used to say, Festa sunt mia in festa. The feast days are devastating for me. He had great sympathy for afflicted persons who always found in him a warm, welcome, and secure refuge. He had been sent in 1241 to the Cistercian nuns at Hoven for Passion Tide and Easter when he was taken ill with a fever from which he never recovered. Do not approach our Blessed Mother with set prayers only. Be intimate with her, confide in her, commend to her every want and every project, small as well as great. It is a childlike reliance and a trustful appeal which she delights to reward.